Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley. I'm the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Uh, today we're going to talk about mobile reporting apps, uh, but a little different than our other training. Uh, today we're going to focus on data reporting tools. So these are tools that you can create little data visualizations with. There's just five quick tools that we can look at. Uh, this is the homepage of journalisttoolbox.org. If you roll down the left hand side here, you will see uh, it has several different uh, topics that uh, uh, you can pull up, including a page on mobile journalism right here. Uh, and if you go to that page, uh, it has all kinds of apps, uh, reading about the mobile industry, uh, how to build apps, uh, all kinds of different resources, as well as some training videos up here. Uh, so feel free to dig into that page if you want to look at more mobile tools. Uh, but what I'm going to look at today is this, uh, or what we're going to look at today, uh, is this little list of cool mobile apps for data storytelling. Um, I've got my Twitter handle listed there, at Jern Toolbox. Uh, feel free to follow me. I will follow you back. I've got about 51,000 followers and always happy to share anything that you produce with any of these tools. Um, this training deck uh, isn't available as the deck itself, uh, but I do have the tools listed on this little page here. Uh, so if you want to call it up, it's on this bit.ly link, bit.ly slash JTB mobile, um, Journalist Toolbox mobile. Uh, that page has a list of all the little apps that we're going to talk about here. Uh, that uh, Most of them are free, but some of them uh, do have uh, small fees with them. Uh, very low cost, and they're both for iOS and Android, unless I've designated otherwise. Uh, what we're going to talk about here are charts, uh, maps, location uh, tools, uh, and layering uh, single stat uh, uh, tools. Uh, this enables you to layer uh, data over the top of a photo using something like Over or Adobe Spark Post. So we'll dig into our first tool here. It's called Chartistic, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, it's very good for quick and dirty uh, charts with very small data sets, something that you could actually key in on your phone or on your iPad or tablet device. Uh, Chartistic, this is one I made, just a breakdown of a budget. Um, you know, does simple column, line, and gasp pie charts. I know pie charts aren't the favorite of, of many data visualists, but uh, they are useful for some uh, budget stories. Uh, the free version of Chartistic will drop this little watermark in the lower right-hand corner. Um, just as an FYI that that will appear there uh, and then you can export it not as an interactive uh, chart but as uh, just an, a single image a ping file or a JPEG uh, file uh, so that is chartistic another tool that I really like is this one called icon graph um, it allows you to do charts and maps uh, create uh, cool little infographics too beyond just a single chart uh, you can actually do a little vertical infographic with it uh, very easy, quick share on mobile. Um, I've got a little training video here uh, that goes into some of the details of, of what it does. Um, we'll see if it'll pop up here. And here's some examples of some of the basic charts it'll do. You know, some are single stat data. Um, some are more infographic oriented like this. Some really cool little visualizations that you can create right on your phone. Very easy to do. It's got all these little templates that you can select from and just kind of enter your data. And they're, and they're editable so that you can uh, tweak uh, you know, colors and things like that. So it's, uh, uh, that is uh, your icon graph. Really cool little tool. Again, icon graph. Basic infographics for social um, uh, charts and maps. Uh, very good for on the fly uh, type graphics and maps. Uh, you can do these little designer maps with pins and icons and just uh, enter locations in by name and it will create a little map and, and drop pinpoints. And you can add data to each one of those uh, as well. So Icon Graph, very good little app. Small fee uh, to use at very small fee. Photo Mapo, as its name applies, uh, it allows you to take your camera roll uh, and map photos uh, to an interactive map very quickly. Uh, you can also add text and do uh, a lot of different little layers uh, of information in, in them. You can see the presentation here that the interface looks like. Uh, easy share to all these different social channels. 
uh, real nice presentation of the photos so you can look at them more in a slideshow uh, format as well so photo map a really easy tool to use uh, on your phone uh, now if you're going to do more advanced detailed map google my maps uh, is probably a little better tool for that works well on the desktop in your browser mymaps.google.com but photo map if you just need to uh, map something maybe you uh, you know covered a triathlon or something like that and you needed to drop in some photos from that triathlon along the, the triathlon route uh, this would be a good tool for that or you know, you're doing a travel story of some kind which you can kind of see here uh, with the Eiffel Tower or, you know maybe it's an environment or nature story and you wanted to map it It'd be really good for a story like that this is a really cool tool it's created by a company called Tin Rocket uh, it allows you to pull up a photo in the app uh, works both on tablet and phone um, it allows you to do directional arrows and text uh, on the fly and this is a photo an aerial photo of Wrigley Field uh, I live just a few blocks from Wrigley and big Cubs fan so this is uh, when Wrigley was under construction back in 2018 uh, and you can see they had a, the new uh, hotel across the street the park at Wrigley they were working on the dugouts at the time actually building a bar under uh, the pitcher's mound here as well uh, and the iconic iconic marquee out here so I was able to draw those little arrows on here uh, without having to take the photo and load it into Photoshop or any other photo editing tool on my desktop I can just tap right on my phone uh, this is a very popular tool among uh, food journalists um, they can lay out the ingredients on a uh, table and draw the little arrow, arrows to each of the ingredients very popular uh, tool in the in the food journalism crowd or the foodie crowd so uh, all kinds of different uses for this maybe you have a downtown redevelopment uh, uh, story and you wanted to do an overhead shot of it and, and point to the different features kind of like I've done with this construction shot um, this by Tin Rocket great app Tin Rocket builds some really really cool apps another one that's along the same lines as this is called point out um, it's a little different uh, it's got this little magnifying glass you can zoom in on a certain part of the photo or you've got these little different directional arrows that you can uh, layer in over a, a, a photo as well and there's different types of icons too that you can select from a whole menu of them uh, i feel like this is it's a little more uh, detail oriented uh, and the directional arrows are a little cleaner but uh, yeah, this one could be very helpful if you're just focusing in on one part of a photo um, it could be really good for that Over is a really cool app. Over is uh, an older app. It's been around since 2010. It allows you to open a photo in it, tap on the photo, and add quick and dirty uh, uh, text to it. Uh, so maybe if you're out on election night, you get a shot from election night, you can type in the final vote count for each of the candidates and just layer that text over the top of the photo. Now, there's all kinds of different selections for fonts, colors, things like that. It's good for sports stories. Uh, teasing a story, uh, you know, if you are out covering a story during the day, maybe you're a TV reporter and you want to tease your story, you know, going up on the website or on the newscast at 5 p.m., uh, using over uh, is a really easy way uh, to do that. Uh, it's good for single uh, data point uh, info that you can just layer on top of a photo real quickly. Uh, maybe if you're covering a, a ball game or something like that, you can uh, layer the final score over a photo. Uh, and share that. It's good for real quick and dirty social media images. Over is a good one for that. Ripple is another one. It uh, does animated text layers over photos. You can pick from a variety of templates. Uh, it, it'll import videos and you can do little uh, uh, slideshows with it too, a mixture of photos and uh, video. Uh, use the free version. Um, they do have an upgraded uh, menu where you can select more templates and music and things like that. Uh, the free version works uh, just fine. Um, so that was all I had for you. Um, so this is uh, the data tools and uh, visualization tools that you can use uh, right on your phone or tablet. Um, again, you can find our tools uh, listed, uh, and I'll put some examples here as well, at this bit.ly slash JTB mobile website or webpage. And you can call us up and it lists all the tools here, and I'll have some examples uh, up here as well for you. That's all for now. Uh, we'll talk to you a little later. Thanks.